good afternoon everyone welcome to another video good afternoon is in yeah i'm running to the party quite late today um i was out yesterday doing something different for for somebody else um so no video yesterday wasn't going to bother today and i just sat in the house thinking no i can't i have to get out i have to get out and i'm really regretting it already because my hands are in pieces with the cold it's freezing um really really big drop in temperature it gives minus two or three four something like that during the week so we're gonna we have literally two hours to try and catch a fish if you have two hours to catch one fish what are you going to use it's obviously going to be the goby shad nothing else so yeah two hours let's see if we can catch something and make a quick video but uh <laughs> i'm regretting it already because i am freezing Okay, first spot, as you can see the floods have uh, the floods have been in and done their damage. You've got two hours to catch a fish, what's the first lure you go for? As I said already for me, it's the goby shad all day, every day. First cast, let's see. I spoke to a couple of local anglers there that have been down fishing the lake from this morning. They were actually leaving to go home. Now it's, it's what, half 12, one o'clock. They had one small fish on dead bait. Uh, the wind has picked up, it's bitter cold, it's horrible outside. It's not a nice day to be on the bank, that's for sure. So they have give up. So it doesn't bode well for me in my quick two hour challenge. But I, I have faith in the goby. It's a nice feeling when you have so much faith in one lure. Let's check the drag. No. Oh. Touching the bottom there. Must be quite shallow up to the left. So the anglers that were here are all the way home, which is good because there's not a lot of access. On this lake, there's only five or six swims. So it just gives me a bit more, a bit more room to play in, basically. There's always a gamble coming this late on in the day. There could have been a lot of anglers here, no sims for me at all. So I'm fishing the small goby today. Didn't bring the big one at all. 20 centimeter version. The reason being is that I'm not specifically targeting big fish. I just want a fish, any fish of any size or description would be welcome. And I think the smaller goby would be the, the better option. Now I'm not completely stupid. I do have a range of lures with me, obviously, just in case. But with so little time, very difficult to figure out which one they want. So we'll give each swim you know, 15 casts or so. And make our way up the lake. We're in the sheltered part at the minute. Down the other end it's it looks rough for the wind. Okay, second swim. Had to climb over a fence and into, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's pretty swampy. It's 
smells like a swamp too. Yeah, first, get in. <laughs> get in. First cast in the second swim. Two hour fishing challenge. Can we catch a fish? We have hooked one. Will it come in? It's certainly not a monster, I don't think. Who cares? Is the two hour fishing challenge going to be completed in 15 minutes? Get in the net! <laughs> I don't think I've ever been as excited to catch a two pound fish. <laughs> Go be shod, does it again. Really lightly hooked, thankfully. Lovely little fish, really nice conditions. The scale pattern is really strange, it's almost really unique. It's like a big scar almost down its back at one stage, it's all healed. But thank you very much for playing and making my day. Will we go home now or what's, <laughs> what's the plan? <laughs> Certainly makes it all worthwhile standing up to my waist in sludge and water. Speaking with the local guys there that were that were fishing with the baits this morning. Um, they were telling me that there was a 17, 17 pound fish taken not that long ago from here. So it's nice to see that there's that there's the odd decent fish still in here. It's very well looked after. The landowner is selective of who he lets down to fish it, which is good. It's probably needed now really in a lot of waters. Not like our last farmer friend who decided to run me out of town almost. Obviously we're not going to go home. So a bit of a story to the reason why I only have two hours. I wasn't planning on coming out today. As I said, I was out fishing yesterday and I wasn't filming. Um, the missus basically told me that I had to go and get paint this afternoon. Didn't want to go, didn't want to leave the house. It was meant to be a lazy day to be honest. Relax for a change. But no, I have to go and get paint. So then I started to get the itch that I haven't made a video. Try and keep up obviously the weekly content if possible. So I came up with this idea. Go two hours early, spend two hours down at the lake, which is reasonably local to my house. Try and get a fish in two hours. Try and go and get paint out of home base before it closes and not get shouted at. Everybody's a winner. The good news is we've got a fish, early doors, pressure's off. Let's go for numbers. I could maybe play with some different lures as well now, now that we've uh, now that we've succeeded in the mission. Gives us a bit more leeway to mess about with some lures that I don't really use that often. Um, you know, at the end of the day we all know how good the Gobi Shad is now, that's there's no arguing that. That's that's amazing, yeah, hundred percent. But every lure has its day. What's the point in me having boxes and boxes and boxes of them and I just use the same one over and over again? Not a very good uh, not a very good idea to be honest. You should know how to work all of your lures. So yeah, I think we'll do that. Climb back over the fence, get my bag, and we'll uh I mean maybe put something different on.
let's see what we have. So obviously you've got essentials, unhooking tools, measure mat. Um, anybody that wants to know, I've also got snips there to cut hooks for a deep hooked fish and different tools. So all the essentials. Okay, let's see what we have in our magic box. What will we use? I'm thinking maybe a hard bait of some sort. Maybe a wee goby crank, something. Something like this, the orange one now. It's a particular favorite of mine. We maybe go for it. As you can see the teeth marks, anybody that's watched the video of the top five lures, you will have seen this in it. It's been very, very good to me now over the summer. The teeth marks all over it. Yeah, we'll give this guy a bit of a, a bit of a show today and see uh, see if he can lift us something. Okay, third swim. Pretty well trodden down. I think this is where the, the guys were fishing earlier. You can see the floods are floods are up so much. Bit easier access all the same than the last one, but I'm just not 100 percent sure how far I can walk out here. Okay. Go be crankbait. Let's see what you have. Can't really remember the depths. It's been quite a long time from a fist here. Let's bring it in nice and easy first. Do we get a bit of an idea of the depth? I had a bit of weed there first thing. Just okay, a bit of weed there just at the edge. So I know then to lift it just as it's coming in. It's a lovely little leg, really is so nice. Nice in the summer too. I think the goby crankbait is. I don't think that's going to work. It's running down too deep. I'll give it one more cast. Maybe put something different on. I don't think it's just going to. It's just going to do at all. Sticking with the, the hard bait theme, gonna give this uh, the fat vibe a bit of a bash. In the fire tiger colour. Um, the water's it's it's a boggy boggy water. If that makes any sort of sense of what I've just said. So the clarity in it isn't great. So that should stand out nice in the in the cloudy water. Um, gives it. An awesome rattle off it as well. There's built in rattles into it. And every time you twitch it up, you feel the pulse of it. So it's very similar to the crankbait and the movement of it. But I could control it a bit better and just not let it go as deep, in theory. Nice movement off that. Still lifting a bit of weed. Cast like an absolute bullet. Easy 40, 50 yards there without much effort. So I think we'll just go with a straight retrieve. Jigging it up and down doesn't. Seems to be catching the bottom still. It's a lure I've had for a while, actually, believe it or not. And I haven't used it an awful lot. Oh, 
What is that? Ah. That must be really, really shallow. Three. As you can see, the colour of that. There'll not be a fish in this lake that doesn't see that from quite a distance away. So that's, as I said, that's the new craft cannibal shads from Savage Gear, obviously. And it's loaded up with a seven gram jig head, so that shouldn't be going anywhere near the same depth as what the last two lures were. The, the lures themselves are very buoyant. So you do get a natural slow sink to them if you weight them upright. So you can bring your lure in that bit slower, a bit more of a natural and better presentation then, especially in the cold water. Oh. Great, you can see that very, very well now, I have to say. Oh dear, dear. The funny thing was, I oh. Seen the waders in the shed this morning, or sorry, before I left this afternoon, and I looked at them and I thought, no, I couldn't be bothered putting them on. They're probably still a bit damp from yesterday. Best decision I've ever made. <laughs> oh, I'd have been in serious trouble if I'd have forgot these. So just how steady is this? Maybe not a good idea. But we're on. positive is I'm pretty sure those local guys that was fishing here earlier did not venture right onto this he who dares wins Rodney and all that okay first cast so he's made a scene there I didn't opt for the the jackbait like I said I ended up going for a spinner because let's face it, the spinner is probably as good as lure as any on a stay. The original fish catcher. Okay, that wasn't a good idea. Nearly lost my little finger to the braid. I think we could be saying bye bye to that spinner. No, we got it. <laughs> oh, I can't get the line out quick enough to. Can't get it back. Very, very lucky. <laughs> Quite a bad slice on my finger with a braid. Hooks are okay, clips okay. Very lucky to get that back. I thought I thought he was a goner. 